Hi, my name is Whitney Lieb, and I'm an assistant professor in the departments of obstetrics and gynecology and reproductive science, as well as population health science and policy and medical education. The Generation C study is one of the first large scale studies to examine the impacts of COVID-19 infection during pregnancy and early childhood. It's called Generation C because it's looking at the generation of children born during the COVID pandemic. Our first goal of the Generation C study is to determine the impact of COVID-19 on pregnancy and neonatal outcomes. At this time, we are still trying to figure out how COVID-19 affects pregnancy. And so the more data we have, the better we can understand the disease. And our goals have changed, just like the pandemic has changed. When we started this study, it was the height of the pandemic, and here in New York, we were at the epicenter. At that time, we were focusing on the impact of infection on pregnancy and fetal outcomes. And now as COVID-19 evolves, so does our study. We are also focusing on vaccination, antibodies, and long-term outcomes. This study is unique because we are learning and collecting data in real time about COVID-19 and its effects. And as mentioned, it's evolving just as the pandemic evolves, which I think is a really interesting research project. This study is also unique because we have scientific expertise from many different medical disciplines. We are a team of obstetricians, pediatricians, psychiatrists, epidemiologists, immunologists, pathologists, and population health scientists, all studying different ways COVID can affect pregnancy and fetal outcomes. It's an amazing research team. I'm one of the co-investigators on the study. As a co-investigator, I've helped with the design and implementation of the study, really getting the study off the ground and running. And now since the study has been ongoing for over a year and we've enrolled over 2,600 women, I'm also working on analyzing the data. Gen Z is one of the first studies to examine the impact of COVID-19 infection and vaccination during pregnancy on maternal and child outcomes. These findings will be of significant public health importance, informing clinicians and patients about trimester specific risks associated with COVID-19, as well as long-term outcomes. The study will also elucidate the extent to which COVID-19 disproportionately impacts pregnant people from underserved communities and how stress can mediate COVID-19 effects. Um, there's limited data about how COVID-19 affects pregnancy and outcomes, and I think it's important to get as much data as possible. I was pregnant and very excited for our first child to be born, and then a global pandemic hit. And at that time, we knew very little about how COVID affected pregnancy. One way to help make sense of that was to participate in research. I became a co-investigator in the study as well as a participant. I wanted to do everything I could to help learn more about what was going on. I began reading all the emerging literature and keeping in contact with colleagues from around the world to find out what they were seeing as well. As a patient, a mom, an OBGYN provider, and a researcher, I wanted to contribute as much as possible. The good news so far is that most pregnant people did well and are doing well, and that vaccination and pregnancy in the postpartum period is safe. Our data is also showing us that we are seeing COVID-19 has accentuated racial disparities, and it's something we are continuing to work on in our study. I'm looking forward to seeing what our data shows in order to increase our knowledge of how COVID-19 affects pregnancy and childhood outcomes. Our team is so thankful for all the pregnant people who are participating in this study. It has been such a difficult and scary time to be pregnant and have a baby. And although their participation may not help their pregnancy, they're helping so many others in the future. And for that, we are so grateful. We could not do this work without them.